Hi, I'm Elizabeth Covijo, and I'm here with Natalie Adolph from the Fresno County Health Department, who's going to tell us a little bit about SIDS, which stands for Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, correct? Yes, that's correct. It's the sudden and unexpected death of a seemingly healthy child, 12 months or younger, where there's no immediate cause of death after testing, investigation, autopsy, and review of medical records. Okay, and um, what else can you tell us about this? Why is it, um, how is it? affecting people here in the valley or children here in the valley? We approximately have eight deaths every single year from SIDS and other sleep related deaths. That's 3,500 total in the United States every year and it's still the number one cause of death for infants one month of age to 12 months of age. And what are some um, things that we can look into in, in case if we see it in a child if that makes sense? Yes, so there's no true way to prevent SIDS and there's no, you, you can't look at a child and say, oh that child's sick, they're at risk for SIDS. But there are three things that I really want parents to know, and that's called the triple risk model. So if a child is vulnerable, so if they're born premature, they have developmental issues that we maybe didn't pick up on, cardiac issues, respiratory issues, and if they have a decreased arousal response, because all of us, if we have our face against a blanket or mattress and we can't breathe, when our oxygen level goes down, because we're rebreathing our own carbon dioxide, we wake up and these babies aren't having that. And that would be the second one? So the second one, the second area, is that high-risk developmental period, that first six months of life, when the baby is really growing and changing. 90% of SIDS deaths happen during that time. And the number one thing parents can do now, right now, is outside stressors. So how does baby sleep? What ex toxins and exposures are we putting baby, like putting baby into baby? So ABCs of safe sleep. Put baby alone. No loose blankets, no pillows, no co-sleepings, no sid, no, no parents or siblings. Be always place baby on their back. Every single time. That means for nap time, for while baby's sleeping at night, always place them on their back. And see for crib. Always in a separate sleep environment. So we say not to bed share, but room share. Okay, that is very helpful information. Uh, thank you very much, Natalie. Um, we've been talking to Natalie Adolph from the Fresno County Health Department. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.